Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here and another um, Vox Chat. I'm a little bit late this morning because um, I was meant to have a training course. Um, you know one of those that I do, like a Zoom meeting type of training course and it was cancelled at the last minute because the lady who was going to take it um, was ill. Oh, it's a bit hot. I thought that would be um, cooled down a lot by now, especially with the fan on. Oh well. Okay, let's do the joke. It's a bit long-winded and I'm hoping I don't mess this up. This is all about the generation gap now, this one. So it says, oh, I'm gonna, oh no, I'm gonna mess this up. Do apologize ahead of time. One of my fourth graders asked my teaching assistant, assistant, how old are you, Miss Glass? You should never ask an adult's age, I broke in. That's okay, said the assistant and politely said, I'm 50. Wow, you don't look that old, the boy said. And I was breathing a sigh of relief when another child broke in and said, parts of her do. <laughs> I wonder what parts. <laughs> parts of her do. I'll give it a clap. Ah, oh, pumpkin still going. When they're kept in the warm, sometimes they can get a little bit, well, pff, iffy, but mine's still going. Um, but my, the inside part is actually a mobile phone because a candle goes out inside because there's not enough holes to keep it, just the oxygen pff, and um, it goes out. So I've, I've got like a little mobile phone in there and I think I need to charge it. So it's, Although you can still see it, you can still see it. Oh, I said to Paul, my son, who carved it, to send pictures of all the ones he's done because you won't believe them seriously it's, he should go into business <laughs> as a, a pumpkin carver you'd only have to work once a year um or um you know on the movie sets if they had to do one that was out of season oh i'm waiting for the postman to come and collect my orders and um yeah i feel a bit like i don't know um I've been sneezing a lot this morning and blowing and sneezing and stuff and I'm hoping I'm not catching anything. I think it's just a change in the season and the fact that I've had the heating on. Maybe. Oh, you can tell that I've not really done anything. I've got no... My jewellery's not on. Um, I've been remembering to put my rings on. Because I've lost weight, they fit. It's, so I've been remembering to, to start wearing them again. I've had them off for so long that it's become normal now for me to not have them on whereas it was normal for me to have them on and um so now i'd have to remember to start putting them on um i i don't like to sleep in them for some reason i don't know why i never have i like to be free you know free of um sometimes i'd wake up and i've left a necklace on or something and you've got that indentation of it and um you know or the chain has kind of <laughs> left its indentation and I, I always think, oh, why didn't I take that off? Because I always think as well, when you're hot in bed, it doesn't do it any good. You have to keep cleaning it on. <laughs> so I, I don't have a good cleaner at the minute. I used to, but it's broken. So anyway, um, I feel like there's things I was going to tell you, but I don't remember what they are. Gary's moving a lot better now. I don't think it's completely over because he still has tenderness. But um, he's not rolling around and stuff and he's actually moving a lot easier. So whether it's just needs to heal where it was and it's no longer there or not, I don't know. But um, he never realised if it passed, he didn't notice. Whereas when it happened to my ex, he heard it go dink into the toilet bowl. So um, maybe his was larger, I don't know. Um, anyway... Gary's feeling a lot better and he's, um, it's, you know, thanks for everyone who was asking after him and and uh, wishing him well and all that, poor old Gary. I was so, um, the day it happened, it was it was actually a nightmare and, and you know, and I told you about what the hospital was like, oh my God, you know, it's, thank goodness it's like a memory now rather than, I'm just hoping, you know, and praying it's over more or less so that we don't have to go back 
don't want to go back there. Please don't make me. It wasn't great. So I'm going to try and uh, catch up on a few things. I've got a magazine that has arrived and um, I should imagine it's all Christmassy. So we'll do that today. Um, I have got tutorials that I had planned, but everything got shelved and Gary's only at work for two days and he's off for a week, which is why I didn't mind going back as well, because isn't then got a week's holiday to try and get over it even more. And I said to him, you know, if you go back... You do light duties so he's kind of they're all aware of that so he, I told him not to push himself and you know and don't do anything that's gonna trigger it or anything so yes oh back to normal ish um just in time for him to be off for another week and but I'm gonna hopefully get back on track with with things it's amazing it happens every time as soon as I'm on a roll when it comes to tutorials and getting um ahead of myself and all that something comes along and puts me right back and um yeah there's always something there is it's just life i guess it's life i suppose but you know i was doing well <laughs> i was even to the point of actually thinking i half scheduled yeah i had lots of things scheduled <gasps> yeah me can you believe it Rather than fly by the skin of your pants. That really don't sound right. Skin of your teeth. Seat of your pants. There we go. Seat of your teeth and skin of your pants, of course. I know I got it the wrong way around. I meant to. Just before everyone says, no. You were wrong. <clears throat> Just being silly. Me? No. No, don't be silly. How can I be? How can it happen? It does, I'm afraid. So I made a little start on my Christmas shopping. I know it's early, but um, I don't like leaving it to the last minute. And one thing I really hate are crowds. Really, really hate crowds. And the other day, it was Saturday, and we decided um, Gary wanted to pick something up that he wanted to get for Christmas. And so we went to the local Little Mall. It's only Hempstead Valley. He doesn't normally like it there at all, but there was one shop for me that he wanted to go to and that was the closest one and the one with the least amount of traffic chaos it had traffic chaos don't don't get me wrong there was it was a nightmare but to get to them like maidstone is an impossibility at the moment for us but um so anyway we went there and because it was saturday it was kind of you know there was people everywhere it's like i'm not used to it I'm not used to that kind of thing you know i'm used to kind of going weekdays when there's a few people and that's it but crowds that you have to kind of negotiate getting round it's like get out of the way people what the where have you come from you know there was just too many i didn't didn't like it luckily we were only there for a, um a little while because we obviously we couldn't walk around very much and um thankfully it's small so you can't really but um i got a few little bits the other day when i went to um the pumpkin picking with uh victoria Paul and Harley. Oh, and Alfie was there, but obviously he went to his dad's after. So the shopping part was just the um, the four of us. And uh, I got a couple of little bits, but I didn't get much. However, I did see lots that I liked. <laughs> it's like, I'm not there for me. Oh, well. I did buy myself a concealer. So if I disappear altogether, you know, I've concealed myself so much. I actually woke up with a spot. I haven't had one of those for years, but it's right there and it's it's only a bump, so you can't really see. It's not like a red angry thing or anything, but I have a zit. Can you believe it? I mean, it must be going for a second or maybe third or fourth childhood. It's right there. Typical, as I was thinking of starting my micro needling thing, I've got a zit. Oh, well. That's one thing I haven't had for a long time. A bit shocked. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I started watching something on TV. What was it called? It's about spies. Mm, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, and I, it had in it the woman that was in Luther. You know the crazy one, Alice. 
and she was the main character in it. And it was a true story about this guy who worked for the Ministry of Defence back in the war, and he was a spy. And then it went through the years after the war, and um, it come to light that he had all these secret lives, but he was actually sacked from the Ministry of Defence, and he was just uh, had loads of families everywhere, and there was this one guy sort of saying no they were all undercover jobs that he had but he was working as things like porters in the hospital and um he went to prison for fraud and he said that was part of his undercover so she was slowly trying to unravel this life where he had all these separate lives and every time he had a relationship and he married them they'd have a child and or two and they'd be boys so there's and then at the end, they showed the whole family because years later, they all got in touch and became friends. So then at the end, they showed the whole kind of family that descended from this one man and his web of lies. But I, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, I, because it was a true story, it didn't have an ending that I would hope. You know, I was hoping that they would suddenly turn a page and it was that he was a spy and everything else was just... Maybe there was this little carrot of whether it was true or not. But no, he's just a just a man, you know. <laughs> just a guy. So I felt a bit cheated at the end because it wasn't the story, it was real, so you can't embellish the truth, is I suppose. It was based on a true story. I guess they changed some bits. But yeah. M Mrs. Wilson, her name was. But I wish I could remember the actual name of the, the series. Whether you want to watch it or not, though. It was on... Was it Netflix? I think it was on Netflix. Yeah. I don't know if I'd watch that if I knew, to be honest. I probably would. It kept me busy for a couple of nights, you know. Excuse me. So back on the diet, back in the saddle, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've climbed back up that, come, climbed out the dung heap and up the cliff and I'm back on top. And um, so yesterday we had duck. Oh, it was gorgeous. Really, really nice. And I have veggies with mine. Gary's still not quite on the diet yet. He had a Chinese and uh, he had duck with his and uh, I had mine with some lovely veggies, so... Yeah, back on, back on track now, thank goodness. And um, yeah, I was starting to really get a bit psyched about the loss and that things were fitting me and I could go to the shop and buy clothes that were a decent size, not, you know, they're still not a decent size in my eyes, but I'm back, back in harness and not coming off it again until Christmas or the, the festivities that may ensue. Gary's birthday is the 1st of December and he always says, oh, I'll go, on, I'll go out for a meal. But if we can try and get to the Metza, I can at least try and not go off it. Theory. I don't know if it'll happen. You know, let's wait and see. Usually I abandon it or something. There was one year that I dieted all through Christmas. And I, when it comes to the actual day, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, I ate my dinner um, with, you know, roast potatoes and... I may have had a couple of mince pies and a few Quality Street, but I still lost two pound that week because I was um, just before it. I'd been doing that intermittent fasting, so I think it kind of helped me, and I, I didn't put any weight on all through the whole thing. In fact, I lost two pounds, so that was my one and only good year. The rest, it's all bingy, bingy, bingy. I'd like to say it's going to be a good year this year, but I don't know. Gary's working all over Christmas, so. As is going to be when he's off, he's going to do the meal. So hopefully, I can, you know, just have a steak or something on Christmas Day and wait for the actual time he's off to have our meal. That's theory. I have to wait and see what happens. Try anyway. So, uh, yeah, um, I had planned because I was just staying in anyway to with the training course all this stuff and then maybe to go but pop out tomorrow but i don't have to do that now <laughs> it's like rug has been pulled and it's like oh what can i do but i can't go out because i'm waiting for the postman although mondays they do tend to be a little early 
which is weird. On some days, like Saturday, Monday, and I think it's Wednesday, they're earlier. It's, why can't they be early every day then? Don't make sense, really, to me. Anyway, cheers, guys. Have a quick slurp. Mmm, that was nice. Finally, yesterday, the cushions from the, ch the garden chairs were taken out of the Yarnavan. So now I've got space again to tidy up all of the cubicles, you know, the little cubbies like these that had my yarn in. I took it all out because I want to put them in bags because those cubbies don't have backs on them. And I wanted to put them in bags before I put them back in. So um, they're all in big, clear, um, well, I can't call them dustbin sacks, but I guess that's what you would call them, refuse sacks. But they're clear, so you can actually see what's in them. And I did them in weights, so I did like chunky in one, furry on in another, DK Aaron, you know, that sort of thing. So hopefully when I put them back, I can have some sense into where they are as well. So hopefully, and also by taking them all out, and moving them around um it was there was kind of a oh i forgot i had that yarn you know there's a and i need to do that in here there's an element of that whenever you because there's what you see there's yarn at the back of it because it's quite deep so um yeah <laughs> i can't always remember what was behind sometimes that and I, oh well, that, i forgot about that i'll do a giveaway with that you know that sort of thing anyway i'm gonna get off upload this one um, go get some breakfast, uh, low carb of course, and um, then I'm going to do my open with me and see what's uh, what's left of the day. I've got to also do dinner, so there is that as well. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.